What's going on on YouTube? Another update here. Pan up a little bit. Show how tall everything is. Uh, another update here. Thursday update for the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. Got a whole pile of stuff going on. Um, first off, water level is really low. Um, that's got, well, hey, look, food floating around there. That's probably because, um, these plants are really sucking up some water. Um, especially over in this area. I mean, look at all those tomatoes. Pretty daggone tell. Um, but, uh, yeah, what was I going to say? Anything. All right, how about, uh, this dinosaur kale here? Still looking awesome. Still, like, kind of laying down on the job. Uh, goes all the way back to that cup way over there. With flies still hanging around. Lace wig. Lace wing. Um, uh, what the heck are they? Uh, lace wing, whatever. Um, the eggs, anyway. They're back there, sitting there. I uh, got another little pouch over here, and a couple more over there on the other side. Um, but check out this mint. Absolutely amazing. It's a sea of mint. There's only like, I think, two cups of mint, and it takes over almost both of these deep water culture beds. Deep sea of green. Look at that. Awesome. Um, but I figure it's time to go ahead and start harvesting some of that stuff, so we're going to do that. Um, my Russell looking very nice. Um, not really doing much, but it's there. Um, the other one, it's looking funky, but it's still there too. So, letting it uh, do its thing. Got a bunch of flowers all off of the mint. Oh, it smells great. Um, yeah, like I said, big tank is a little bit low. Got to start adding some water. I've been kind of holding out, waiting for rain. Um, and it just isn't coming. So, everything's dry right now. Um, here's some more damage with the white flies. Look at that. Like, the stone is, uh, has that weird discoloration, just like the plant does. But, uh, it's still looking good other than that. But, uh, look at them all go. Jeez, man. Um, gonna try to get some more Incarcia Formosa. Not some, well, yeah, I guess I got it before. But this one's looking horrible. Look at that, man. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Um, a <laughs> uh, little, I guess, uh, lettuce hanging out in here. Survived the heat wave. That little lettuce. Look, there's white flies on the lettuce. So, man, doesn't look too good already. Um, all right, that was Brussels. Another Brussels over here. Um, that one is not looking good. So, it's probably going to be going. Ah, tag on it. Aha, gotcha, mosquito. Um, yeah, we got more. That's the one with the... All of them are the ones with the white flies on them. But uh, all kind of volunteers here that are just popping up. Look at all that. Beautiful. Um, just in time to meet the white flies. Um, got a few strawberries that are trying to pop off here. They're very cool. And they're not a mark globe. Um, uh on it, not Quinault, uh, not All Star. I cannot remember which ones those are. Ah oh, man, that's gonna bug me now. Um, let's see, yeah, just a bunch of volunteers. Oh man, I didn't even notice there's some volunteers way over here. That's pretty cool. Um, yes, oh, look at that. There was one, and now it is all burned up. Uh, my little uh, onion here. Look at the size of this thing, man. It's looking very nice. Um, it's got some volunteers down there by it. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think you're supposed to plant uh, lettuce by onions. <laughs> Leave it to me. Um, but these are all volunteer uh, lettuce that popped right up. And nice. Um, right over here is part of the battle zone in the pest war. Um, not sure if that's going to show up. Oh, yeah, it will. Um, but you can see all kind of spider webs and everything, so the spiders moved in to give me a hand. And they are catching a pow of uh, white flies. So I'm just kind of encouraging them and trying not to get too close to the webs so that they hang around and everything. Um, hey, look at that. My tomato fell down out of the trellis, and now it's way over there. Bring that guy back. 
bring it on up here. There we go. Um, that's just one of the little guys. Um, got some more over here. Look at these guys. Very nice and tall, taller than me. And they're all flowering, so that is beautiful. Um, and right over there, we'll get over there in a second, but I've got a tomato. Um, all right, here's another little guy. I'm gonna put him over here. Keep him away from the, uh, oh, look at that. Right on my jalapeno there. Look at all the white flies and an ant. Um, but it's over there, and it's actually doing pretty decent for, uh, the second year that it's, uh, been going. Still just boggles my mind. A uh, little lettuce down here, little uh, broccoli, the mother plant right here. We got new growth popping off at the bottom, right off the side here. Some more right over in there, on the down there, all over right in here, and all the dead growth right at the top, where it's a little bit of seeds that need to be harvested. Um, and didn't I have talk on it? No, I think I'm thinking of this guy right here. That was a uh, pepper, and I was all excited about it. And, uh, all right. Yeah. I was gonna show the other one in the hot tub aquaponic garden that I forgot to show yesterday, but it's all the way in the far bed, so we're not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, there's my little tiny broccoli. Not a lot of broccoli left. We had a whole pile of uh, baby broccoli volunteers that popped up, and uh, slowly they just keep dying off on me. Um, yeah, more spider webs all over in here. Loving that. Um, and I love coming into, around the area and like, you know, tapping uh, branches and stuff and making them fly. Because look, I just got that one caught over there. <laughs> Sucker! Um, uh, the dinosaur kale is looking pretty decent over here. A bunch of the leaves that were affected by the pests, they actually are about to need, uh, be needed. Uh, about to be needed to be... What? Uh, they need pulled off. So uh, this plant, once I pull them off, it should look very nice. Um, forgot to do that before I started videoing. This one right over here, it's not really showing up, but the white flies are. Uh, but there's some spider webs all around in there. So go, little buddy, go. I'm not going to mess with that plant. And my other dinosaur kale right over here looking good. Better look at my jalapeno back here. Decent sized leaves. They're not that big or anything, but uh, four finger, that's pretty decent. Uh, got one jalapeno up here, but decent. Another one about to start right there, and it goes way over here, more right there. So, not bad. It took it, uh, uh, what did it take, like 16 months, 17 months, something like that, to actually start producing fruit. Um, and right over here, can't forget this guy. Look at the size of this leaf, man. Uh, I also have big hands, Troll, and Brother Troll, and uh, I measured this sucker, and it's just under, well, that was the other day, but it was just under six inches wide by seven inches long, and there's a couple more on there, but that one's looking, oh, that one's not on there anymore, um, but this is the one I was looking at the, oh, man, I think I messed up a spider web. That was the one I was looking at the other day, but I only have, like, one or two, so looks like you've got much better, uh, uh, leaves on all of yours and if you don't know who I'm talking about it's Troll Forge I'll throw a link down below go check him out but check out that Malabar it goes all the way up all the way across and it's just intermingling with these tomatoes kind of holding them up and everything very cool and then it's coming down and it goes back around over there to the tomatoes so very cool it's like a its own little trellising type thing so very cool and like I said tons of uh, flowers all over um, and I actually, check that out, almost a completely ripe uh, indigo rose, so very cool. Starting to produce, I thought I had more, no, but this branch right here just totally like goes that way. It needs to be up in the air, but it has flowers all over it, there we go, kind of staying. Hopefully that Malabar will come back and interweave it in. Alright, another lettuce right over here. That's another volunteer. Um, more spider webs over here and dead leaves. Look at that. But spider webs all over the gravel, just like the uh, hot tub aquaponic garden. Um, right back here. Not exactly sure what's going on. Um, it's been pest ravaged. Uh, and I'm just kind of waiting to see what's going on because some of them look okay. Cabbage they are. Sorry. And, uh, Gonna move these big leaves. 
but uh, some of them look really good. This one never really looked good, but it doesn't look like there's any pest on it. it just kind of looks like it got that big installed. But uh, the deep water culture bed is looking pretty decent. Those guys are looking nice. How about that guy? It's being crowded out by basil and, wow, white flies and uh, tomatoes and everything. Spilled the bag over here of these rice hulls and the lace wing seeds. So I think this only has a little tiny bit of stuff in there. Yeah. Eh. Eh. That's a real lot, man. The other bag right down there. And, uh... Right over here, giant freaking mint. That's the way to do it, is to grow it and just let it hang right off. So, hey, just dump that whole cup full. Dang it. Um, but I was gonna say to hang it right off like that, that way you don't have it bushing up onto your bed. Because uh, here's the other side of the uh, um, mint. And that's only two cups of it, and it's taken up that entire area. All right, well, that was a long-winded uh, walk around here. Look at this cabbage, looking beautiful. Um, from a Thursday update of the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, come back and check out all these tomatoes and basil and peppers and stuff like that on the back hydro tube wall. Uh, always on Friday, Mondays, we do the super hots over there. We've got some more way over there. Uh, they're really starting to take off, and that's always on Mondays with the Super Huts, and then the Hot Tub Aquaponic Garden over there on Tuesdays. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, check out, um, yeah, check out Troll, uh, Brother Troll. I'll throw a link down below for him. Um, also, wow, look at all these flowers just everywhere on this thing. Um, yeah, check me out on Twitter, A with a circle, R A V T O. Um, yeah, do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below, and uh, leave me a comment, throw me a thumbs up, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. So, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you then. Later.